Now example 1.5. When a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, charges appear on both. A similar phenomenon is observed with many other pairs of bodies. Explain how this observation is consistent with the law of conservation of charge. See, law of conservation of charge suggests this thing, charge, neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be transferred from one body to another body. So here when glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, at that time, glass rod becomes positively charged and silk cloth becomes negatively charged. Due to transfer of negatively charged particles, electrons from glass rod to silk cloth. But here, the amount of positive charge deposited on glass rod and amount of negative charge deposited on silk cloth, that will be same one. And due to that, before the process and after the process, net charge that remains same one. And this particular fact that is conservation of charge, okay? So this phenomenon that is inconsistent with the law of conservation of charge. Clear to all of you? Now example 1.6. Four point charge is QA equal to 2 microcoulomb, QB equal to minus 5 microcoulomb, QC equal to 2 microcoulomb and QD equal to minus 5 microcoulomb are located at the corners of a square A, B, C, D of side 10 centimeter. What is the force on charge of 1 microcoulomb placed at the center of the square? Now see, suppose we represent all these charges at the corners of a square, then we can observe this thing, this diagonally opposite charges are identical. So here at A, two microcoulomb, at C, two microcoulomb. It implies that if at the center of these two charges, any charge is placed, then the net force that will be zero. Similarly, at B and D also the identical charges and one microcoulomb that will be at the center of the line joining to this B and D because are diagonally opposite. So again, the net charge, sorry, net force on charge, one microcoulomb that will be zero. So resultantly, we can say the net force on one microcoulomb charge that will be zero. Clear to all of you?